How's it going everyone? Today we are going to be going over some movesets for Cinderace, which now has the released hidden ability Libero. So what does Libero do? Libero. This Pokemon's type changes to match the type of the move it is about to use. In other words, Protein. Just like Greninja. Pretty scary, I must say, but let's go ahead and get into some movesets. As for the first set, we're going to be going with the Jolly Nature. It's completely up to you, but I highly recommend Jolly or um, Adamant. But for this set, we're going to be using Jolly. Up to you, like I said. Where's Jolly? Okay. Um, an item we're going to use is Life Orb. We also have other options, just like Choice Bend. Um, maybe Choice Scarf, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, I would, I would recommend Choice Band, uh, Life Orb, rather than Choice Scarf. I haven't really seen Choice Scarf, but it is an option. It's there. And for this, the moves we're going to use for this Cinderace set is Pyro Ball. 10% chance to burn the target, Thaw's user. It has a base power of 120 and 90% accuracy, which is pretty rare in some cases, at least for me doesn't really miss but it, it the, the possibility to miss is there if you're worried about 90 percent it does learn flare blitz um the only downfall with flare blitz is that it has 33 percent recoil which you're going to be taking damage you don't have to worry about accuracy you still got the 120 power now the only difference between um the reason why i would run powerball is let's say for example there is an age slash right in front of you and you know it's going to go for the King Shield. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but Pyro Ball is not a contact move, so it's it won't get any stat drops from the King Shield. But if you are running Flare Blitz, and you Flare Blitz a King Shield Aegislash, you are going to be getting the attack drops. And that's what your opponent is obviously going for, if it's going to use the um, uh, King Shield. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think a Pyro Ball is a um, contact move, which is... Pretty good actually in some situations. Um, I'm trying to think of something else that would backfire besides iron barbs, but I think at that point you're getting what you want by knocking out a uh, ferrothorn. But yeah, we also have Zen Headbutt on the set, 80% base power, we have the 90% accuracy, 20% um, chance to flinch the target, which is actually really good, really good, especially if. I do believe, I haven't calculated this, I probably should though, but Zen Headbutt with Cinderace, either Life Orb or Choice Band. I don't think one shots Toxapex, but the chance of flinching Toxapex is going to really suck. But potentially Cinderace has the ability to probably knock out a Toxapex. I should probably calculate it to make sure, but nonetheless, we have next move which is high jump kick 130 base power now if you miss high jump kick it is gonna it, you are gonna take 50 percent max hp if it misses which sucks but really good strong move and then we have a little bit of mobility or momentum i should say um we got u-turn just in case you know you have something that you know you're not gonna be able to knock out um or that could be problematic for um, Cinderace, or you want to save Cinderace for something that is a threat to your team on your opponent's team. But yeah, feel free to use Jolly or Adamant. And if you're worried about accuracy, I haven't seen this used, but Wide Lens is a thing. If you're worried about accuracy, um, pretty much the accuracy of attacks by the holder is 1.1 times. So yeah, you get an increase in your accuracy, which is really nice. Uh, next set, heavy duty boots. We have the item heavy duty boots to avoid the hazards like stealth rocks, toxic spikes, uh, spikes. And with this set, we're going to be running the adamant nature. And for the first move, we have is bulk up, which is going to raise our attack and defense by one. We have priority, sucker punch. And remember, these moves are giving us stab now because of the new ability, which makes Cinderace really strong. We have Pyro Ball, of course, signature move. I actually don't know what the signature move does with um, G-Max on Cinderace, but if it's the same thing as Charizard, then there you go. 
Zen Headbutt, another option. Um, but again, feel free to change anything you want with these two. Like if you want to throw bulk up instead of U-turn. No, nah, actually I would recommend having U-turn. Now this set is actually pretty solid. This is probably my favorite set, but nonetheless, go crazy. Change the moves, what you think is best, but obviously you want to keep Pyroball. Uh, Zen Headbutt, I would definitely keep for Toxic Apex. Uh, Sucker Punch, if you're worried about priority, like a Shadow Sneak Mimikyu, and you know, you can gain a little bit more momentum by knocking out the Disguise for Mimikyu. That way you don't have to worry about it. The other Pokemon on your team doesn't have to worry about it, but that's, that's an option. Bulk Up is good. Um, and here we just have other options. Oh, and by the way, we're going 252 on attack and speed uh, with Cinderace. Um, some other crazy shenanigans. We have uh, acrobatics, power doubles if the user has no held item. So pretty much don't put an item if you're going to be running acrobatics. And it's going to be stab plus the power doubles, which is good. Iron head. Uh, pretty good to have if you're going up against like rock types or knock fairies out. We have gunshot as well. Really strong move. 8% uh, accuracy, which is a downfall. Um, court change. If you're going to be using court change, I highly recommend you use heavy duty boots. Um, I'm not too sure if people are going to be running a uh, court change on Libero since it's like you're not getting the full potential of Cinderace when. It's got the power now, and the stab, I should say. But yeah, uh, let's see if I'm forgetting anything. Uh, what else can I learn? If you want to run like some crazy shenanigans, I guess if you're running the Blaze ability, you can run counter. Oops. Counter with the uh, Focus Ash, which is like some hidden tech. Um, but then again, like I said, Libero is just too good to pass up on. Um, but yeah, I think that is it for the Cinderace. If I forgot anything, or you guys have some ideas on how you guys run your Cinderace, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.